This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast on this Memorial Day. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. Community members will line the streets of Elmira today for the 2017 Memorial Day Parade. Today's parade kicks off at 930. It starts on Washington Ave, then weaves through College Ave, Rowe Ave, and Davis Street before finishing at Woodlawn National Cemetery. A memorial service will then begin at 11 o'clock. Roads will be blocked off during the parade, which could affect your travel route. Meanwhile, in Bath, the VA Medical Center will hold its special Memorial Day observance program at the Bath National Cemetery. It begins at 10 o'clock this morning. Assemblyman Phil Palmasano will be this year's keynote speaker. Then after the ceremony, the public is invited to walk through the cemetery to see more than 15,000 flags honoring the memory of our fallen soldiers. The flags were placed by fifth grade classes from the Dana Lyon Middle School. This morning, we're learning more about a shooting spree in Mississippi that left eight people dead, including a sheriff deputy. And we're hearing from the suspect himself. Investigators have identified the deputy as 36-year-old William Durr, who served for two years at the Lincoln County Sheriff's Department. Seven other victims were found dead at three other crime scenes across the area as well. Authorities say it all began with a call regarding a domestic dispute. Investigators say the suspect is 35-year-old Willie Corey Godbolt. He was arrested yesterday and treated for a gunshot wound. That's when he told a reporter that his intention was, quote, suicide by cop. My intentions was to have y'all to kill me. I ran out of bullets. Authorities have not yet released the names of the other seven victims. The laptop ban on international flights could be expanding in the U.S. Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly says he's considering banning laptops from passenger cabins on all international flights to and from the United States. He was asked about the possible expansion on Fox News Sunday. Kelly's answer, I might. Right now, the electronic ban only affects flights from 10 cities, mostly in the Middle East. It prevents travelers from bringing laptops, tablets, and certain other large devices on board with them. It was put in place because of concerns about terror attacks. And now here's Craig Flint with today's forecast. Hey, Craig, good morning. All right, uh, Leanne, thanks a lot. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. So uh, the highest likelihood for wet weather would be through the first part of today. Once we get into the afternoon, we'll dry things out just a little bit. There should be a resurgence of some sun. However, that I'm wondering if that resurgence of some sun will lead to an extra shower or thunder shower at the finish of the day. Uh, if that were to be the case, it would be isolated. Uh, and I think the overall trend through the afternoon will be to dry out with a high of 74. Tonight, maybe a shower or two around through the evening, and then the sky clears, low of 58. So here's your forecast over the northern tier, and uh, we'll have scattered showers and maybe a rumble of thunder coming through this morning. Then the sky clears into the afternoon and maybe one more isolated shower, thunder shower at the very finish of the day. Now these numbers may be a little generous, but if we get enough sun, 76, 77, 78, not out of the question. However, I think we're probably going to hold around 74, 75 today. The sky clears over the Finger Lakes. Maybe one more shower, thunder shower at the finish of the day with a high near 75. So one round of rain, again, moving through this morning. We still have some scattered showers left over. That will uh, drift through. Once we get past noontime, I think we get into this area here which is uh, a clearing sky, but again, that may lead to another risk of an isolated shower or thunder shower as we head into the afternoon uh, at the very finish of the day. Then on Tuesday, another risk for showers and storms to develop Tuesday afternoon. Storms Tuesday afternoon may be strong to severe with damaging wind, possible some hail, and even into Wednesday, the overall pattern looks unsettled with a late day shower or thunderstorm. A little cooler on Wednesday, 68. June starts Thursday, a high of 67 under bright sunshine. Chance of rain on Friday, a high near 70 and an early call over the weekend, partly to mostly sunny. 72 on Saturday and 67 on Sunday. 
Now we're into June by the weekend, so average high should be in the 70s. So that's a little bit below normal, especially on Sunday, Leanne. All right, we'll stay tuned for that. Thanks, Craig. For the latest news, weather and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5:30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day.